Let's take a look at dominance in game theory. When we say dominance, we mean just this. A superior strategy dominates an inferior strategy. In other words, you always pick the superior strategy. Um, there's two ways to check. One is with dominance, one is decision analysis. In this video, we're going to look at dominance. What we do is first we start looking at the maximizer, uh, which will always be um, on the left hand side here, and that is Andy. So what Andy will do is he'll compare his three uh, strategic choices. Like his strategy is he can pick one, he can pick two, or pick three. All right, so when we're comparing, we're looking for dominance, we look to see if there's one he would always choose. So let's just compare strategy one and two. Andy's the maximizer, so he wants the maximum payout. 15 is greater than 12, 25 is greater than 14, 35 is greater than 16. So Andy would always choose strategy one over strategy two. So strategy one dominates strategy two. We can also compare strategy one with strategy three. 15 is greater than two, uh, 25 is greater than four, and 35 is greater than seven. So Andy would always choose wanting to maximize. He'd always choose the strategy with the maximum value. Now if the two was up here and the 15 was down there, we wouldn't be able to say it's it's a superior solution, but in this case it is. So we can eliminate strategy three. Then we look at Bruce and his options. Um, we've already taken these two off the table, so we're just looking at strategy one. Bruce is the minimizer. He wants to pay Andy the least amount he can. So can we compare strategies A and B? Um, we can see this, even if these numbers weren't crossed out, that A is a superior strategy because 25 is greater than 15, 14 is greater than 12, 4 is greater than 2. So he will never choose B. He will always choose A because it's the least payout. We can go on and do the same thing for C. C. So we can see that. So by checking for dominance, we can see we have a pure strategy here. No matter how many times we play this game, both Bruce and Andy will always choose A1. Strategy one for Andy, strategy A for Bruce. 